We're gonna rate this at about 200 pound tongue weight. If you own an Evolution D5 and you'd like to put it to work and pull a wagon around the garden or pull a jet ski trailer around or pull a really cool trailer like a tag along trailer that's made right here in Van Wert, Ohio, then you might be interested in our new D5 two inch bolt on hitch receiver that is also American made right here in Van Wert, Ohio. It does not get in the way of a license plate. So if you need a license plate to be street legal, but you also want a hitch, then this one is made for you. It bolts on in literally 10 minutes, which I'm going to show you right through these three holes that are already there in the cart. And to make our hitch receiver even cooler, you can add our cooler carrier to your D5, which slides right in the hitch receiver and locks into place with a hitch pin. So now, instead of just having your cargo trunk, which is not gonna keep anything cooled at all, you have a cooler to keep your snacks and beverages cooled. And yeah, just a really slick setup. So let's install one. So if you order our bolt-on D5 receiver, you are going to get the package in the mail and it is going to have our two inch hitch receiver. You're going to also receive a mounting bracket, three half inch bolts and four 9 16 bolts. And the tools that you're gonna need to install this is one, a screwdriver with a Phillips bit or just a Phillips bit for a drill, which we're gonna be using this today for this. So Phillips bit, a 9 16 socket, a 9 16 wrench, a half inch socket, and a half inch wrench. And again, we're using the impact driver for this, but you could also use a socket wrench for all this, for these sockets. Then last but not least, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench and a drill with a 3 8 drill bit. The first step to, in installing the hitch receiver is we gotta remove the cargo trunk. So you got your little spinny guys in here that you gotta spin, three of them. You spin all those out of the way and your cargo trunk comes right out. Pretty fancy. Next up is, here are my three bolts that have Phillips heads in them. And the nut on the bottom is a 10 millimeter nut. So we gotta remove those. So I take my screw bit, Phillips bit, 10 millimeter wrench, and we're going to remove these. And just completely get rid of these because we don't need it anymore. We gotta make these holes larger. So all you need is a drill and a 3 8 drill bit. And since there's already a hole drilled, it's gonna grab the drill a little bit when I'm doing this. So I'm actually gonna pre, I'm gonna start the drill before I go into the hole, because it makes it go a little smoother. Now, if you got a fancy, smanchy airline like we do, you can blow the stuff out of the way so it's a little clean. First thing is we're gonna do is bolt our bracket to the cart, and we're gonna tighten it as well. Now, as you can see, this hole is not centered on this piece. It is favoring this way. The shorter side goes towards the back of the cart. This is the longer side. This is the longer side. The longer side does not face the back. The short side faces the back. The three bolts that are half inch bolts, I don't mean half inch long, as in, I mean they're half inch bolt heads and nuts. One of these is longer. The longer one, so take the nut off, you got your washer. The longer one goes in the middle. So push all three bolts through the holes and just line them up, slide the hitch on and tighten it all up. You don't have to do all three at the same time. You can just put the middle, I'd, if you're gonna just do one at a time, I'd start with the middle one. I'm going to take my half inch socket, my half inch wrench, and we're gonna go down here. So again, now you can see right now, bolt, bolt, bolt. Longer one's right in the middle. I'm going to push this up there. And get my nut washer on there. Now it's easier to use your socket or wrench or drill on top of the cart because these bolts are recessed into the plastic. It's, it's in other words, it's not easy to put your wrench up here 
it's not easy to put your wrench in here. It's a pain in the butt because that's why you need a socket up here. So the first thing I'm gonna tighten is the middle one. Get that pretty tight. Now I'm doing the middle one first because I want to make sure that I'm square. So now that it's square and it's straight, I'm gonna tighten my other bolts. Bracket is now tight. I need my 916 socket, 916 wrench. Sit those down here. I need my four 916 bolts of nuts. And I need my hitch. The hitch goes inside of the bracket, not the outside, the inside. I would run a nut as soon as you can on it. That way we don't have to worry about this one lining up anymore. So that's lined up. Got that one in. I'm just starting on the, the from ones in the front, technically the front of the cart, which is I guess the back of the receiver, but I'm starting the ones in the front. Just make it a little easier on me. That one slides through there. I'm taking my 9 16 socket, 9 16 wrench, and I'm just gonna push up a little bit. Now, if you wanna make it touch your bumper, you can, but I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna push up just a tad, and I'm actually gonna tighten these ones closest to me first because those are the ones that are gonna make it go up and down. So I'm pushing up just a tad. That is literally it. So you've got your safety chain holes right there for a trailer, wagon, jet ski, what trailer, tag along trailer. And just to show you how strong the hitch is, you throw the cargo trunk on real fast. I weigh around 200 pounds, I'll give it take a few, I don't know. Slide that in there. This is just the cooler carrier, but it has, we're gonna rate this at about 200 pound tongue weight. That's what I weigh right now. And most trailers won't have 200 pound tongue weight unless you're trying to pull something crazy. But yeah, very well made, very strong. All the info you need to know about that hitch is all right on our website, bacars.com, on our accessory store. So thanks for watching and contact us at the information below, email or call us if you have questions about the hitch or if you're installing right now and you're running into an issue that you don't currently see that we dealt with in this video and you're something different about your D5 or you just have an issue going on, please let us know again at the contact information below. But thanks for watching.